Welcome to Veggie Patch Ideas. Today we're sowing Chinese cabbage. Bok choy, pak choy, they're all the same. Let's get on. Now let's get into this. A beginner's guide to sowing uh, Chinese cabbage, bok choy or pak choy. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll fill, fill the seed tray uh, and we'll get on to sowing some seeds, shall we? Okay, and now we simply fill the seed tray. So Chinese cabbage, or in this case, this is Ongbok. It's very fast to germinate, so you should see something in, well, four or five days, hopefully. If it doesn't, it just means the growing temperature isn't ideal. Uh, we want it around 16, 17 degrees, to be fair. Uh, we'll grow cooler than that. It is a cool climate uh, vegetable. So this time of year in September is perfect. We'll go ahead. These are little round, tiny ball seeds. I'll show you in a sec. But we'll put two in each cell. And the reason I'm doing it into plug plants, it's just easier to manage. So on a hot day, I can move the tray out of a polytunnel or greenhouse somewhere a bit more shady. Just manage it better in a, in a cell tray. Now you can go direct into the, into the ground. So you put a line in the soil, sow your line down the rill, cover it over and give her a water. That's if you want to do it that way. I'll show you a guide. I'll put a guide on here as well to sowing in reels. So as we go, nearly there. The reason I'm doing so many, by the way, is because not all these will germinate. I tried these before, didn't have a very good success rate, so I'm, got, I'm doing more, a lot more than what I need. Uh, some will fail, some will grow, and hopefully I'll get some sort of decent harvest. So what we'll do, just like the, the seeds are tiny, so I'm just going to lightly pop them into the ground, into the soil, so they make contact at least. Put a bit of dirt over the top if you can. On all the trays. And that's it. We'll pop a label in, and then we'll give give her a water. Now, if you're concerned with evaporation and your seed tray is getting crusted on the top, so if that's a common problem where you are, what you can do, and it is an optional extra, but you can get some perlite and just pop it over the top of your tray. And this will just hold the moisture in and it'll let the light in as well, okay? get a problem with slugs, snails, even flea beetles on your Chinese cabbage, you can use a 
cover and just as the seedlings come through uh, they it's a perfect lunch for a slug or a snail so what I do I, I pop a lid on like that give the seedlings a bit of a chance let them grow up and you know once once they're in a, a better sort of height we're a bit more protected so it just saves the snail wiping out all your seedlings in, in one hit so it's a great idea that's if you get trouble with slugs and snails. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and please subscribe. Uh, I need all the help I can get. Let's grow this channel.